Hey guys, good news. I have for, for you. Well, it looks like Need for Speed No Limits is coming back to this channel. And I will tell you why it's coming back to this channel. Just watch this part first. Howdy, I'm Josh, lead designer on Need Speed No Limits. You may have heard some sneaky rumors that this is the last season of Blackwood Rivals, and this is true. We've been reading your feedback and considering the design, and we've decided that Black Ridge Rivals is not doing the best job it can, so we're shutting it down. But, in its place, we're launching a new thing. We're taking on the Black Ridge Rivals feedback and also trying to bring more use to the whole garage. The new thing is called Underground Rivals. So, what's different about Underground Rivals? In the old system, there was one giant long-term leaderboard where you compete in your best car. This meant all the coolest new cars from special events didn't get much attention unless they happened to be your new best car. Underground Rivals is changing that in a few ways. The first big shift is divisions. You'll now be racing in three divisions, roughly divided into low-ish, medium, and high max PR. For each division, there's a full competition, matchmaking, and prizes for players who own the eligible cars. This means you can win prizes and glory in your fastest car, as before, but also all your other cars too. And divisions aren't exclusive. If you qualify for all three, you can race and claim prizes in all three. The other big ingredient is weekly events. We'll now be running an Underground Rivals event every week with three divisions and three cars in each. There are 12 weekly events in total, and over the 12 weeks, every car gets its shot. And we've still got the bigger long-term goal to aim for. Across the 12 weeks, all your scores combine into your Underground score. And this is where we still celebrate the king of the Underground. Overall, this means having a killer garage full of fast cars gives you the best shot at being the champ. Rewards have changed too. Blackridge Rivals was really focused on participation, but we've decided to raise the stakes and put more focus on wins. The new reward structure has more prizes, and it's per week, and it's per division, so there's a lot more to go for. Each weekly event also showcases a different track region. So Seaside runs for a week, Downtown for a week, Mountain, Desert, etc. This mix gives fresh tracks pretty often, but also gives time to perfect your racing lines and chase your personal bests. And, exciting bonus reveal, the first week will feature a brand new track. It's called Erwick County, and it's looking awesome. Here's a little preview. I want to thank everyone for their commitment to the game, and thanks in advance for getting stuck into Underground Rivals. We read all your feedback from Reddit, Google+, Twitter, and anything else we can find, and it all helps NFS be the best game it can be. We're taking another step on that front too. From today, I'll be joining JDOT on the subreddit, sharing hopefully useful insights direct from the dev team. I really think this is one of our best updates ever, and it's dropping in September. I can't wait to hear what everyone thinks. Cheers. Now, yes. I'm going to bring back Need for Speed No Limits to Green City, City Video Gaming. This fall, which, which is why I think the first day of fall might be Let's see here. Um, yeah, Saturday, September 22nd is the first day of fall. And we will begin at 9.54 p.m. So it could still be summer until 9.54 p.m. on Saturday night. Which never really happens before. But 
I guess for some years it does. But anyway. Um, yeah. Need for Speed no, no Limits will be coming back. But not until October. But still, it's good news. But uh, as for the other uh, current video games I'm playing right now, like uh, Train Driver 2018, surprisingly, that series will have to be finished sooner than I thought. But for Truck Simulator 2000 Truck Simulator USA that game will be finished like hopefully at the end of the month so i can try to get train 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 driver driver uh 2018 to finish as well I cannot give you the exact date of when I'm going to have to release a new chapter of Nefe's Speed No Limits. But yet, I have, I still have made little less money than I would have in the game. So, yeah, just bear with me guys on this one. It's kind of hard to finish chapter 7 when you clearly don't have enough game money to actually finish everything and, pl and like plus improve all the cars and plus win one which is why it's hard to win races, races like this because you can't improve your car with a little less money which I think it's kind of unfair which is why I could not frequently upload these kinds of videos all the time. But I will start doing that. And, uh, you know, there is another part to the good news. In, like, the coming future of 2018, I may start live streaming Need for Speed No Limits on certain days because I have been doing that with Truck Simulator USA and sometimes Train Driver 2018 for quite a while. And plus, I did some live streams of Bus Simulator 2015, which you'll be seeing it somewhere here. You can check it out if you, if you want. So, uh, yeah. That's basically all I wanted to say on this from here. So, yeah. I'm returning Need for Speed No Limits somewhere in, in, in October. I don't have the official date of when I'm returning to play, playing this game again. But 
it will be right after I am done with Train Driver 2018, which will take a while. Hopefully I can finish by mid-October. We'll see, though. I have to get Truck Simulator USA on the way so I can get Train Driver 2018 up on the way so I can go back to Need for Speed. And I also want to play Asphalt 8 too. So as soon as I'm done with Need for Speed, maybe, I will be doing Asphalt 8. Or I can do both at the same time too. I mean, That's just that, really. But yeah, uh, I just want to let you guys know that it is time for me to move my channel's position to a good time, and Need for Speed is one of those good times to, uh, Move on to once again after taking a like a seven month long break from playing the game. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, until uh, next time, guys. I will see you with another video tomorrow, and uh, yeah. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe so we can turn on a notification bell. Make sure it's on like this, because if if you leave it about about it like this, it's called occasional. And when occasional is not like one of those four lines like you see here, which means it's supposed to be on, then you only get a get the occasional part of when my videos are uploaded. So uh, if you want to get all the notifications, you need to have this on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out.